Okay, I am at the Kel Darby Creek, but I'm doing an off-trail hike. I'm down by Big Darby right now, walking north. Um, I went into the woods, you know where the trail is going to the woods behind the ranger stations. Well, I went in there, but the trail, you know, goes down towards Alkire to the left. I am to the right. Back down that way is where I started at, the ranger station. Somewhere up in that area is the nature center, which is where I'm heading to. Uh, it took me some time to get down in here. Because you can see there, the hill is pretty clear. That would have been no problem. But my problem was, is the south side of the ravines, where it's shade, not getting a lot of sun, is still snow covered. And they're slick. So I had to try to find a way down in to get down here. And what I ended up doing is going to the beginning of one of the ravines, where it was still shallow, and getting down in the ravine. And walking the ravine down in to this area down here. Basically, I was climbing over trees and rocks and all kinds of stuff that were in the ravine. I'll put a picture of the ravine in this video. But, I mean, it's pretty clear down in here, really. It's not like really thick woods. I mean, look how open it is. Like I say, somewhere up in there, over that way is probably the Greenway Trail. Up that way somewhere is the Nature Center. See, that there, I would not have had a problem climbing up or down. But, like I say, the my issue was the snow on the south facing side of the ravines <coughs> being slick. Trying to a big open field on the other side over there. I don't think that's the field by the backpacking trail. Um, but it might be. It might be that that might be backpacking trail over there. Looks like I may have to go up this hill. It looks like it's the little area down here on the bottom is going to meet the river. And I'm not going to have anywhere to walk. I don't know. We'll see in a minute. It's not a problem if I have to go up the hill. I'll go up the hill. I'm not trying to fall in this cold water. That I'm not trying to do. I mean, it looks like people have walked this before because I mean, I can see a somewhat of a trail. It's just not an official trail, but I'm not the only one down here that has done this. Yeah, it looks like I can get through here. Maybe. Okay, I sort of hit 
somewhat of a dead end. See, I can't walk along the bottom anymore. That's what I was concerned about. So I'm going to have to go up. And it looks like there's a little bit of a ravine there. I might have to go through that ravine. I don't know. I'll find out when I get up there. But I'm going to have to climb up this little hill right here. Because I'm not going to be able to walk along that. There's just no, no ground to walk on. So up we're going to go. It's always fun climbing a hill. I'd rather climb a hill than go down a hill. Because down the hill, man, it's easier to slip. Okay, was down there. Now I'm up here. And you can see here on that ravine there, see how the south side is still snow covered? Like I say, if it's not the snow, that would, wouldn't be a problem. But with the snow, it's it would be slick and very easy to lose footing and go sliding down. I mean, look at it. Look at it here. See on the south side, snow covered. North side, clear. Because it's getting more direct sunlight, so it melts faster. So now I'm at the top. And I gotta figure out how I wanna get through here from here. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure there's another ravine right there. And I can almost bet, I haven't seen it yet. But this side, which is the south side, is gonna be snow covered. So I may have to go up that way a little bit and get around and try somewhere. Uh, eventually I want to get back down there. But I need to get past this little cliff area in here to get back down in there, which isn't an issue. I'll find a way down. I'm still up top, heading back towards the creek, hoping I can find a way back down. I'm not sure how far that cliff along the edge went, so I'm not sure. I hope, I'm hoping I walked far enough to bypass it to where I can get back down to the valley now. <clears throat> but I won't know. Until I get back up here where I can look down in there and see what's going on. And then find a spot without any snow. And it's not too steep. And I can climb down the hill. Like I said, I'd rather climb up a hill than go down a hill. Takes a little bit more leg muscles climbing, but gravity seems to want to <laughs> be in the way when we're going down. Okay, it looks like we're up. coming up on it again. Right here. I wish they were all this easy to go down. <laughs>
Another thing you gotta watch is the leaves because they can be slippery when they're wet. And you really can't sometimes see a little pothole in the ground that they may be hiding. You don't want to step into and break an ankle. Okay, I need to go over that way. But like I said, let's hope I... It looks like I may have passed the cliff. It looks like it may be good to go. I'll find out here in a minute. Okay, so we are back down. We did pass the cliff. We're down on that curve somewhere. Hopefully, I don't hit another cliff to where I have to climb up again. I'm hoping now I can stay down in this valley. Because what I'm trying to do is meet up with a dead end trail that goes down behind the nature center that I've hiked before. I think you may have seen my video. I'll put a link to it in the description box. Where I tried to... I followed this unmaintained trail. And it basically dead end. I wanted to follow it. You know, it's keep on going, bushwhacking. But instead of starting there and coming south... I decided to start the south end and go north and try to see if I can find the trail. So that's, I wanted to make it a little bit, a little bit more interesting. So I should be able to find that trail down in here somewhere when, it find, when I finally get to it. It's up here a little bit more. But... I want to say maybe another 200 yards, maybe, I don't know. I should hit it. I know I'm not that far from it. If you did watch my other video on that trail, I spoke of an island out in the river. I'm thinking this is the other, this is that island right here where the river, Big Darby actually split. It's over there and it's over here. And that's like an island and it merges back together a little bit further upstream. But that right there is an island. A little island in the river. A few weeks ago when I was down here, after all that rain we had, we had like rain every day for like eight or nine days straight. This was seriously flooded. I mean, I tried to hike this at that time and I couldn't because it was just too flooded. But here's where they merges back together and heads on down.
Okay. I'm really confident now we're not gonna have to climb get back out of here. I can see a little bit of a trail. And I think this is the trail that I was looking for. I told you earlier, probably like another couple hundred yards. I've walked about that. So I think now I've hit the trail that's going to take me back up around by the nature center. It sure looks like it. So we did find it. Not a real clear trail, but... But I'm pretty sure this is the trail. I gotta watch because I know there's a fallen down fence out here. One day I was out here and I actually tripped on the thing. I don't really see the trail, but I know where I'm going. So I really just keep pushing forward. people voices I and mean, we are getting close to the nature center Should be able to see the trail now. Like I said, I was gonna start at this end, go the other direction, start on the trail, and then head for the ranger station, but I wanted to do the opposite. I wanted to start bushwhacking and find the trail. More challenging that way. Back on the main trail. Visitors must stay on the trail. Hiking around Benson or Bison Fence is prohibited, which is up there. The thing is, is this trail, hiking on the trail, this trail don't go very far the other way. So, we accomplished it. A little uh, more work than expected because of the snow. I had to do a few detours climb down some of the hills they weren't too slick 
but that's it's fine with me. The ranger wants me to give him a call when I get out. He wants to make sure I made it out all right. Because he knows I'm back in here. So I said, yeah, I'll give you a call. And he said, be careful because some of the hills are steep. Which they were, but I wasn't concerned about the hills, the incline. I was concerned about the snow trying to get down them. And now this trail here will bring me out right by the uh, nature center. And then I'll just walk back around the Greenway Trail back to my vehicle over by the ranger station. All right, and here we are. Back to the nature center. So we made it. See the bison over there? Are those woods over there? That's what we just hiked through. 